This video is going to show you a comparison of exponential growth versus exponential decay. So just a quick side-by-side -side comparison for you before we look at some questions. Growth is when we are increasing. So I have a graph that looks like this because B is bigger than 1. Decay is when I have a decreasing function, so it looks like that because B is between 0 and 1. That's our general form, a, b to the x, but sometimes we have a rate involved in the question. So when I have a rate, I'm going to use 1 plus r if it's growing, like interest, or for decay, I'm going to use 1 minus r if it's decreasing, like bacteria in your body when you're sick and you're on antibiotics. So which of the following functions models exponential decay? We're going to do this two different ways. The first way is we're going to look at the graphs. So on my calculator, I'm going to go to y equals, and I'm going to type in 2 to the power of 0.3x, and I'm going to look at my graph. This graph is increasing, so it's growth. So it's not my answer choice because it's growth. So this is growth. Now I'm going to put in 1.2 to the 3t. So go back, clear it out, 1.2 to the 3x power. Take a look at my graph again. This one is increasing as well at a slow rate, but it's still increasing. So that's not it because this is growth. So now I have one half to the negative t power. Oops. Clear out what's there. I have one half to the negative x power. Take a look at my picture. Once again, I have growth. So process of elimination is going to tell me it's this last question, but I just want to check it out to be sure. Go back to my calculator. 5 to the negative x power. Take a look at my graph. And it is decreasing because it's going down, so it's decay. So here's a sketch of what it looks like. So this is decay. So we've already answered the question graphically, but I want to take a look at algebraically because we know that for decay, if I have y equals a b to the x, b needs to be between 0 and 1 for it to be decay. But if I take a look at number 4, it has a 5. Well, there's a little bit of a trick happening here. It has a 5, but it also doesn't just have an x in the exponent. There's a coefficient there. So we're going to look at each one of these in terms of a, b to the x. So in order to do that, I need to separate my exponents. So this is going to be 2 to the point 3 to the t power. I'm separating those exponents. That way I'm isolating the t with no coefficients. So back to my calculator, to my home screen, 2 to the point 3 power. And I'm going to round to the nearest hundredth, so I'm going to get 1.23 to the t. So now you can see that this is definitely growth because my base, or my growth factor, is 1.23. Let's do the same thing with number 2. 1.2 to the third with the t on the outside. So back to my calculator, 1.2 to the third and I get 1.728, rounding to the nearest hundredth, just to keep it consistent, I have 1.73. So once again, this is growth, not just because of our graph that we saw earlier, but because of our growth factor being larger than 1. So for the next one, I have 1 half to the negative 1 power to the t, because there's an imaginary 1, don't forget, so that's why I have a negative 1. So I have my fraction, 1 half to the negative 1, and it becomes a 2. Now remember, that's for laws of exponents, you form the reciprocal in order to make your exponents positive. So that's why it becomes a whole number instead of a fraction. And then lastly, choice 4 we know is decay, but we want to see why. 
So this is really 5 to the negative 1 to the t. Once again, if I use my laws of exponents, this is going to be 1 fifth to the t. Or if you forgot your laws of exponents with that negative 1 exponent, you can always go to your calculator. 5 to the negative 1 power gives me 0 0.2. Let's just move this over so I can fit this here. So now we can clearly see why it was decay for choice 4. Not just because of our graph, but because of our equations. The B, or the growth factor, was between 0 and 1. It was a fraction of 1 fifth, or as a decimal, 0 0.2. So that's the difference between growth and decay. Growth are increasing functions, decay are decreasing functions. As long as you're in a b to the x form, growth b is bigger than 1. Decay b is between 0 and 1. But once again, you have to be in that form, a, b to the x power.